Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. If you've always wanted to challenge yourself and show off your procedural skills, that time of the year is here. November annual event is right here and the official prompts have now been released. These prompts are 3 over 3 which simply means that they are having 3 different changes contrary to what we had in previous years. Now if you go over to the previous years, you notice that we have 6 categories for 5 different days and every single day has its own prompt. And that is something that has totally changed. This year we're having 3 different topics 10 days each and of course artists will be having 2 days to handle one prompt and i think this is to enable artists create things even way better and showcase their skill without rushing time and of course this will be coming in very handy for those who will be working with blender geometry node to create amazing forms so this year we're having forms color and scale and to each of these you have to create something that represents both color and you have to play around the words to create something things are not specific this year as we're having three side four side five six and round contrary to what we had previous years where we had to do with cookie candy fruit grain and pastry so this is you know throwing that mix where artists will be free to create whatever they want without being bound by a certain set of things and this is going to open a world of possibilities for creatives to do amazing stuff moving forward for those who like to join this you can simply use any tool of choice and create create a prompt for every two days and then post the result, the screenshot of your note on social media by simply using the hashtag November and November 2020. It's also worth knowing that you need to also put the relevant hashtag of the software you're using as this might also come in very handy for everyone to know what software you use in creating these things. Now Blender isn't the only software that you can use as you're open to use any software at all and for sure I would recommend if you're also thinking about another good software you can use, you can proceed to use Substance 3D Designer which can help you create seamless materials pattern image filters environment lights and even 3d models the new version of substance designer allows you to create 3d models that you can use across different tools and this makes a lot of sense meanwhile for those who already know how to use houdini the side effects houdini is going to come in very handy for this particular one as you'll be dealing with a lot of things that deals with forms color and scale and houdini handles these things effortlessly as houdini is a heavily procedural tool i don't think you'll be having any problem working with this. Some additional information you need to know is in terms of shading and texturing, no textures are supposed to be imported in, no nodes are supposed to be used to import textures in, everything needs to be done procedurally including your lighting. In terms of modeling, no manual sculpting, no manual modeling, everything has to be done with the basic primitives. You also don't need to load any external data by simply using Node. For music, no sampling, no recording, no external data and only basic oscillators. So this is actually something that will challenge lots of artists but for sure I believe that these prompts are coming right on time to allow people to explore different options and different parts of their creative side. And for those who would like to see some of the prompts and probably you know you want to see some of the things that were done last year you can simply go over so let's go all the way up you can simply go over to the twitter page of november and check out some of the cool things that several people created so you can go all the way down and you can see some things like this this one was created in blender and every single thing that was made here were made directly within the shader editor and this makes sense you see the whole animation was made directly with the shader editor you can see some other cool things like this one this mushroom was made directly with the shader editor as well you can see something like this you know beautiful stuff and it even makes more sense because in most cases some creators do not only just post the final work and then post the node tree itself they go ahead to also post the blend file which makes it very interesting because at this point you can open up this blend file study it, and see how these things were made someone else that you need to look out for or you know follow up is Arendelle Arendelle does have a whole lot of things that deals with procedural shading and of course if you like to even study more about the geometry node he has also released a series of videos on his YouTube page that you can go ahead and learn from so this is also something that is very nice and of course like I mentioned earlier you can also see you can go through and download you know these things and study them and get the most out of it. Meanwhile for those who will be saying I don't have a PC I only have a tablet but of course I would like to join this there is actually the Nodi 3D. I was thinking about making a video for this one but right on time November is here so I think it's a good time for you guys to come through and try it yourself. So if you like to create things directly on the web and you know you want to create everything based off nodes and you like that feeling of grasshopper or dynamo then you can come through and check it out. You know the 3D is for free so you can start creating some amazing things with it and this just simply makes so much sense. 
And of course, if you'd like to check out some of the things that have been made with it, there's a set of examples that you can load in. So if you go over to the example section, there's a set of examples that you can load in and you can proceed to start playing with these examples and see how things actually shape up. Of course, you can see that every single thing that you have here are all procedural. So it simply means that you can control the radius. Okay. So if you'd like to control the radius, you know, if you'd like to control the wave height, if you'd like to bring this down, every single thing here is procedurally made so just in case you're thinking about making something on the web then you can consider checking this one out and playing with it and that's about it for those who like to work with houdini maybe you like to work with substance 3d or you like to work with blender regardless of whatever tool you want the november official prompts are here and you can come through take a look at them and start noting tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one peace